what is Visual Basic? Well, Visual Basic is a programming language developed by Microsoft using the .NET framework primarily to run applications with a set of pro instructions that is a program. Now, it uses the .NET Framework API, which I will explain later, because it is a very powerful API and it allows you to do multiple things faster and better than before with the old basic Windows APIs. Now, Visual Basic is not necessarily a full hardcore programming language like C++ or let's say Java, but it is one of the coolest programming language I've learned for beginners because you just as soon as you get the compiler you get right into it I'll explain compiler later but it's just like as soon as you get into it it's wonderful you'll really really love it now um another thing I want to explain about this language if you're going for real applications that you want to sell and market. I mean, sure, it's great if you have multiple programmers in your company and you're really, really good with it, but, like, if you're a beginner, not that many people are going to buy your program and download the not .NET framework just to use your program. I mean, what what's the fun of that? They, they probably just go buy a professional program, save all that time, and get a higher quality program. But I w what I will tell you is if they have dot never framework already installed and you make a handy utility let's say like a better version of calculator or paint they're gonna buy it like for paint.net for example that's a great version of a uh, visual basic or c sharp application that you want to use now visual basic is still a very high-end programming language but it's it it has doesn't have all the certain capabilities that you can get with C sharp, C plus plus, or Java, one of my favorites, but it's really worth it in the end. Okay, so let's go to number two. What is programming? Um, programming is usually it's a set of instructions that are run through a compiler and compiled into a program which you can execute which the computer runs so it's basically monitoring all your actions and reacting to them by a set of instructions because computers are absolutely stupid this may not make sense but everything in a computer has to be programmed in because if you really think about it computers I mean what what can they do without having their own chips that are designed programs but we'll cover this later um programming is also a way i think is a form of art because the ways there's so many ways you can do it there's different diversities it's just wonderful it's a great lear way to learn math um get extra credits for college i mean i'm not even in high school and works for me. Um, what is an IDE? Now, that's something interesting. An IDE is a compiler which compiles the code because if you pro if you write a program in Visual Basic, if you're advanced and you know how to do that without a compiler, it's you, you can't just save the text file and run it. it it's not going to do anything because it hasn't been compiled into binary code because as you know or as you should know if you're going to use this video computers read code as in 011010 they can't read hi my name is bob or something like that so ides are very important also there's only one distributor of ides for visual basic and that is microsoft now <laughs> you know you might see these things cost twelve thousand dollars and and you're getting visual studio but when i found there was visual um basic 2008 visual c plus plus 2008 visual j sharp 2008 c sharp i was so happy i didn't really need to do much after that point because I didn't have to buy anything, it was completely free, and it almost had completely all the capabilities of Visual Studio. That's why I chose it. So don't be worried if you're 
like I want a free one don't worry Microsoft already did that um let's see what is an API well an API is is like an, a second set of instructions that a computer can read from that are already preset made instructions that you can call from your program so let's see I want Bob to eat a stick well a computer doesn't know what Bob is a computer doesn't know what a stick is and a computer doesn't know how to eat so essentially in an API which consists of classes which I'll get into later the, the API explains to the computer what eating is so like th it says that Bob can eat sticks and sticks can be a value Bob is a value it could be a string or something sticks can be a value it can be a string too but it teaches the computer what Bob eats sticks is in the case of the .NET framework this goes a whole number level and takes advantage of this whole API thing and gets it to have a second subsystem essentially and run all this magnificent new coding techniques into the original Visual Basic scripts and that is something I really love so this is 